Hi, this is Eric from datafeeder.com. In this screencast, I want to show you our new WooCommerce integration plugin. Let's first take a look at the end result. After I've done everything in the screencast, here's what our website's going to look like. We're going to have, uh, we're using the new 2014 WordPress theme. We have a, a search for products form here in the left sidebar. We have our product categories, rock climbing harnesses, rock climbing helmets, rock climbing shoes. And then we have some blog blogging content here, as well as our recently viewed products list here. If we go into, uh, click the shop link, you can see a list of products. We can also filter those products by adjusting this price filter slider. So now we'll get products that are between 60 and 145. We can additionally filter by merchant. I'll just view REI products. And we can also filter just by um, brand name, Black Diamond. So now we have a really powerful uh, faceted search here. Let's reset those. Down below, you can see your recently viewed products. This is what uh, anyone, any user who's browsing the website will see uh, these recently, their recently viewed products. If we go into a category, um, we can see uh, what's on sale. And even the $89, it's marked down to $61.93, and so on. And then we can eventually view a product itself. You can see this one's on sale. It was $125, now it's $92.93. can view more information about this product. The merchant's REI, brand is Evolve. People can write reviews, give it a rating, and we see some related products at the bottom. So that's what we're going to create in the following screencast. Now, let's get started. I have a fresh installation of WordPress 3.8. I want to make one adjustment to our setting before we start activating some of the necessary plugins. Let's go down to settings, general. I just want to set up my time zone to make sure it's correct. Now that that's done, I can uh, start by activating the WooCommerce plugin. The WooCommerce plugin is a free plugin that you can get on WordPress.org. Here we have it. And the only requirement here is that you need to be using version 2.1 uh, whether it's in a beta or a full version release. Let's activate that. After that's activated, you'll have the option to install WooCommerce pages. You do want to do this. It makes it easier to get started. All right. Now that we've installed the WooCommerce pages, we, need, we do need to make a couple of uh, setting adjustments on the, on the WooCommerce platform. So first we'll go to WooCommerce, Settings, I'm going to change my base location to the United States, go with Missouri, and I'm going to change my currency to US dollars and save your changes. Next, I want to input some attributes. So we're going to go into the products menu in the left sidebar and go down to attributes. Here, we're going to put in three. We're going to put in network, we're going to sort it by name, we're going to put in merchant, we're also going to sort that by name, and we're going to put in brand and sort that by name. While I'm here in the product section, I'm also going to create a couple of categories. You can create these whenever you want, but I'm just going to create them now. I'm going to have a site based around rock climbing products. So I'm going to have rock climbing shoes, rock climbing harnesses, and finally, oops, rock climbing helmets. All right, now that that's done, we can start activating the necessary data feeder plugins. So let's go back to our plugin section. And you'll notice we have three data feeder plugins here. We have the data feeder API plugin that actually connects to the data feeder API and allows you to choose your networks and merchants. 
we have the data feeder products that's plugin which uh, contains products and groups them together and imports and updates those products on your site and then we actually have the plugin that imports it into WooCommerce itself so I need to activate all three of those now after you activate the data feeder plugins <clears throat> You will have uh, a couple of nags up here. We'll just follow the nags. So first we need to add our API keys. You can get those um, by following the link here. I have them. I'm going to insert them now. i um, just going to blur out the screen. And save my changes. And now that we have the API keys inserted, uh, now we need to select our networks. So I'm going to choose <clears throat> two networks here. I'm going to use Avant Link US and then I'm going to input my affiliate ID. I'm going to blur that out. And I'm also going to choose Commission Junction. And I'm going to put in my Commission Junction affiliate ID and blur that out too. After I've selected all of the networks I want to use, I'm going to save my changes. The next thing I need to do is to select some merchants from those networks. So I want to click select merchants. Here I can select merchants from those two networks that I've selected. Uh, here we have Avant Link US. I'm just going to do a search for some of the uh, merchants who offer outdoor gear and all of these guys do. So I'm going to add all of those. And those are all of the merchants I want from Avant Link. Now, Commission Junction, I just want REI from Commission Junction. Now, after we've added the merchants, we'll save our changes. Now that we've selected our merchants, we're ready to add a product set. So we can come over into the sidebar, go to product sets, and click add product set. A product set contains a collection of related products and is responsible for importing those products into your blog and keeping those products up to date. When, you create a pro when you're creating a product set, you'll have a list of steps to follow here so you can uh, know what step you're up to. So first we'll give it a title. So I'm going to put in uh, rock climbing harnesses. This is just title for our references. Uh, our reference, uh, it's not going to appear on the website. And I'm, in the, uh, I'm going to put in rock climbing. As you can see when we put in the title and after we do that it's automatically crossed off our list and I'm going to search under the product name field for harnesses so harness um, and I'm going to use the uh, filter has image so just to return all products that have images now I'm going to perform a search Cool, so we got 20 products that are all rock climbing harnesses. And I'm pretty happy with that search, so I'm going to save it. So I'm going to click the Add as Saved Search button. So that adds those 20 products to my Save Search tab. I can also add individual products by clicking uh, the Add Individual Product button. Um, I can also remove products uh, from the search results by clicking this link. You can find out a lot more information in the help section, find out about the dashboard um, and about the entire product record as well as the action links legend. So have a look at that. But let's keep going. So uh, our step four is to select the category to import this product set into. So all of these products are going to move into one of the one or more of the categories down here. So we're going to import these products into the WooCommerce product set, our WooCommerce products and then we're going to add them to harnesses. Now that we've selected the category, the last step is to click the publish button. So I'll click publish. Okay, so the products in this product set are queued update, um, which is about now. Um, so that'll take place in, in, a, in a few seconds. But let's go ahead and create another product set for our helmets. So again, we're going to give it a title. Again, this is just for your reference. I'm going to do a, a general keyword search on the term rock climbing. I'm going to do a product name search on uh, helmets. 
And I'm also going to choose that it has an image, as well as in this one, I'm going to say it must be on sale. So let's do a search. Okay, so we got four products, and what we can see, all four are on sale, indicated by this price. So it's normally $59.95, now it's $45.73. I'm going to add a save search, and I'm going to choose uh, the category that goes into, and it's rock climbing helmets, and I want to publish that. All right, so let's do the last one for shoes. Again, rock climbing, rock name contains shoes. Here I know it's a little, uh, we, we're gonna get a few extra results that we don't want. Um, so I'm gonna get a little more specific in my search. I wanna say the, any field doesn't contain hiking and any field doesn't contain approach because approach shoes are related to hiking shoes. And let's take a look. So we'll do a search. Okay, we got 46 products. Most of them look like rock climbing shoes. We have a couple here. And what I'm going to do is these are uh, not rock climbing shoes. I'm just going to remove those. Now those products won't appear in my search results anymore. And so click add a save search. Oops, I didn't give it a title yet. Shoes. Now we have a title. Uh, and the last or the fourth step is to put it into a category. Before I click publish, I did want to show you. So now we have our saved search here of all the rock climbing shoes. And we can also see the, pl the products that we blocked are here. To unblock them, we can click that link or this icon here. If you do ever need to see more product information, you can click the product name and see all of the attributes about the product. And you can also uh, even see the large product image by clicking the, the image or the, the thumbnail here. All right, so the last thing I need to do, indicated by our steps, is click Publish. And that'll update shortly. So let's go take a look at our update queue. So right now uh, we can see that the rock climbing harness uh, product set imported 20 products um, that completed just a few minutes ago. The next update is the rock climbing helmets and that'll begin shortly. Let's take a look, let's go in here. And we can see in the dashboard that it's actually running right now. The products in this product set are currently being imported into the site and it's about 50% done. Um, and then this will dynamically refresh um, but we're not going to sit and watch it. So um, I'm going to wait for these product sets to import the products into the uh, into WooCommerce. And while it's doing that, um, I'll, I'll pause and wait for those to complete. And after they're done, we'll come back and take a look at uh, the products on the website. OK, now all of our product sets have successfully imported the products from the set into the WooCommerce store. And we can see from our update queue um, that we have uh, 20 products were imported on, for the harnesses, four for helmets, and 43 uh, for rock climbing shoes. We can also see during the update how many products were deleted as well as how many API requests um, were needed or re were required to perform the update. So let's take a look at our products. What we're going to do is go down to uh, the WooCommerce products menu bar and just click products. And that's going to load all of the products that were imported. You can see we have 67. The first time this, the products load will take a little bit longer than normal. That's because we have to go and download the images from the, uh, from, from the merchant's website and import them into our site. All subsequent loads will be much faster. What I typically do is go up to the screen options and set this to display 100 products so that all of those product images can be downloaded from the merchant and imported uh, and uploaded into your site. So now that we're uh, loaded 100, we see 67 and they all have images. So let's go check out our site. Open that in a new tab. 
go to shop and we can see that we have all the products here. It's a little bare bones. We are using the new 20, uh, 2014, uh, 2014 theme from uh, WordPress. Now I want to configure a few of the widgets to get our store looking pretty snazzy. So let's go over to appearance, widgets, and there's a lot of uh, WooCommerce uh, widgets that we can choose from to actually get our, our store displaying in a more useful way. So I'm going to delete all of the default widgets that WordPress uses when you first install WordPress and add the ones I want to display. So I'm going to select this WooCommerce, WooCommerce layered nav. This is a really cool one. This will give us a faceted search type of functionality. Actually, probably going to uh, put that in the content sidebar. I'm going to filter by merchant, choose the merchant, and leave everything else the same. Let's close that up. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to filter by brand, choose brand, click save. <clears throat> Here is the product categories. I'm going to put that in my primary sa sidebar. Show the post count, save that. There's a price filter, this is really handy. I'm gonna stick that above my layered navigation. And I'm also going to put in the, re oh, not recent reviews. Uh, recently viewed. and reduce that to five. And the product search will be the last one I want to put in. And that is search box here. And the last one I'm going to add just back just to the sidebar is our blog categories. Now that we're done setting up our widgets, let's take a look at our website. Here we have our home page. Go into our shop page. We have our filters. We have our product categories. We can filter the results, view our single product, as well as additional information. Thanks for watching the screencast about our new WooCommerce integration plugin.